Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys are having a great day so far. So today we have another series of a makeup look Monday. This is a series where I do a makeup look and then we talk about most of the products which I have on my face. So with this series every month I'll try to do something different. So this month I thought we'll do something different and we'll talk about only affordable products uh, every Monday and we will do it brand wise so today I have only products of one brand on my face and that is a Maybelline one of my favorite most used uh, affordable drugstore products so I'll talk you through most of the products which I have on my face I will show you all the Maybelline products I have I'll review all of them for you. Doing this will also give me a chance to see my collection of one particular brand and declutter if uh, I don't really use or I don't really like. And I thought it is really going to be a fun and useful video for the both of us. So first of all, let me start off with the first thing which we put on our face, that is the primers. I have two Maybelline primers with me, these two. So one is the Baby Skin Pore Eraser primer this is the first primer i want to talk about this is actually a really good primer uh, i have a little bit of this on my face today like right here i don't have a lot of enlarged pores but i do have some pores over here so this actually is quite a good uh, pore erasing primer it it is very silicone -y. it smooths out the skin really nicely and i think this does a very good job at pore minimizing so if you are looking for a good pore minimizing primer, I think this is a very good option. Uh, it sits on the skin well, but I think this is more suited towards the dry skin type it, because it does have feel a little bit of oily and greasy after you apply it onto your skin. It completely doesn't uh, settle down. It, there is a kind of a slip to it. I don't mind that I have dry skin. I don't really mind that. But I think if you have oily skin, you will have a little bit of an issue with that so i think this is more suited towards dry skin so i do actually uh, like this primer a lot the other primer which i have is the maybelline master studio primer by sorry this is the maybelline master prime by face studio and this primer has uh, blurring and illuminating properties so this is more geared towards the dry skin types there is one more which is only blurring but there is no illumination and that one is for oily skin types so if you're looking for uh, so if you have oily skin you can go in for that if you have dry skin you can go in for this one so this one is also really good a uh, hydrating kind of a primer this is i would say this one is less pore minimizing than this one this is more pore minimizing this one is pore minimizing uh, plus hydrating plus softening plus illuminating so it's a really nice primer i do really like it this one has a little bit of a slip so if you have oily skin your product may not uh, sit that nicely on the skin this one has a little bit of a grip it feels more like a uh, like a sticky primer type uh, not very sticky though but this has a grip so i think a product is going to uh, sit really nicely on the skin i think much better than that and this one is illuminating so it has a nice radiant effect this is the primer which i am wearing on my skin today let me show you this a little bit you can see it smooths the skin a little bit not too much like the bye bye pores but it does give a nice illuminating effect and it also has a broad spectrum of spf 30 which is really really good so you can actually wear this only uh, as your moisturizer as only your base makeup sometimes i do that i only use a primer and some uh, powder or bb cream for everyday use so this one is also really good for that yeah i really like this primer although i haven't really tried a whole lot of this primer because it's pretty new but uh, my first impressions are really good next i have a bb cream to talk about i will not talk about this too much because i already have a video on this you can go and check it out this is the maybelline super bb cream if you have watched my video that one you would know that this is i really liked the bb cream the consistency it's quite full coverage it will do cover a lot of blemishes but the problem is the shade medium is not at all a good match so this is more towards uh, people who have like a 
fair to medium complexion they will really like this bb cream and i think most skin types can go for this for more details please do check my other video okay next i have a foundation to talk about this is the maybelline fit me foundation uh it's the matte plus poreless foundation and i have the shade warm honey 322 and i have really mixed feelings about this foundation it's a matte foundation uh, i don't really like matte foundations too much because i feel they make me look very dry i already have quite a dry skin this one works pretty well sometimes uh, it's not one of my favorite but i don't mind using it if you have oily skin you should definitely try this one out this is a very good it's a nice coverage foundation i wouldn't say it is a super full coverage it's a nice medium uh, medium coverage foundation and but if you build this up too much it does tend to get a bit little, little cakey and the only good way to apply this foundation is using a beauty blender or a sponge i find that if you apply it with a brush it is just going to streak all over it is not a very flattering application with a brush use a sponge for this i always use a sponge for this that gives me the best application for this foundation overall i do really like the consistency uh, of the foundation it blends really nicely the color match is quite good uh, so i do use it uh, many times but it's not one of my favorites there is one uh, dewy plus smooth version of this which is meant for dry skin types i want to try that and maybe i'll let you guys know how i like that one this one is okay uh will i recommend this yes you can absolutely try this this is a good foundation this is, this is not bad in any way but uh it's not one of my favorites then i have two concealers i love maybelline concealers those are like my favorite drugstore concealers i have two this one is the maybelline fit me concealer and i have the shade medium and this is also one of my favorite concealers it's very creamy it blends really really nicely it doesn't crease uh, the shade is obviously too light for me so I use this one only for highlighting I don't use this to conceal anything because the shade is too light it's not going to conceal anything but I really love this as a highlighting concealer it really brightens up the under eye it blends really nicely and it looks really good on the skin the other concealer which I have is the instant age rewind concealer this is also very good this also I have in the shade medium and I use this one also for mainly highlighting. This also gives a very nice finish to the skin. It highlights the areas really well. I'm using it today as well. It blends super nicely. It never looks cakey. Both the concealers, they never look cakey. I highly recommend you try these concealers if you're looking for good drugstore concealers. These are very good. Then I have two Maybelline powders. These are the Maybelline Fit Me powders. So I have two of them. One is too light for me. This is the shade Buff Beige 130. So this is very, very light for me. Uh, I had got this from India. And sometimes I feel that the sales girls will just give you so much lighter shade than your actual skin tone. Uh, and that girl also convinced me that this is a proper match for me. But when I started using it, I could see that this is way too light for my skin it's a very beautiful powder no doubt i can use it to set it under my eyes but as an overall powder this is too light for my skin tone the other shade which i have which is the shade uh, 240 golden beige that's a perfect match for me so if you're closer to my skin tone you should try this shade for like everyday use if you want a powder for your whole face this is very good very soft powders and this has like a tiny bit of illuminating particles they are not like chunky or literary you wouldn't really be able to tell it on your skin but there are some illuminating particles like very very tiny amount which which actually look really nice on the skin so i do like that i already hit pan on this so yeah i i this is like my everyday powder it sets everything nicely and it looks really nice on the skin when i was gathering all my maybelline stuff i found this this is the maybelline clear glow all-in-one compact powder this was one of my first compact powders i think this is how it looks this is the shade sand beige and it's a very finely milled smooth powder i really like this one as well but it has a very like a matte finish kind of a powder it used to look a little too drying 
so i haven't really finished this and this is really really old time to really declutter this. this but this one is like one of my first compacts i had bought and i did like it for some time okay so those were all the base products which i have from maybelline next we'll move on to the eye stuff which i have first let's talk about the two maybelline eyeshadow palettes i have so these are the two palettes i have the blush nudes palette and the rock nudes palette i have already spoken about the rock nudes palette in one of my other makeup look mondays i will link that video down you can get a full review of this palette in that video so i'll not talk too much about this uh, this is a pretty okay palette i wouldn't really recommend this because the colors are not very consistent some of the colors are too powdery the glitters are not uh, that smooth they are uh, chunky then some of the shimmers are quite nice uh, mattes are also pretty okay but the mattes are not completely matte they have a kind of a satin finish so uh, like if you want to deepen your crease and everything uh, i don't know how flattering it is going to look overall um, i was not truly impressed by this palette i also have this blush nudes palette uh, which i had got before the rock nudes palette this palette i actually uh, after using the rock nude palette this palette i actually like now i think the eyeshadows in this are much more consistent in quality they are much more softer smoother i think barring one or two shades all of them are pretty consistent they have a nice uh, finish uh, they are pretty pigmented uh, i wouldn't say they have the greatest pigmentation they're pretty pigmented and i think this palette is more easier to work with this one blends a little better and uh, right now i'm using both these palettes because honestly i would love that these two palettes are combined and you get some deeper shades in this one and get some of the nicer shimmers from this one into this one because i think these palettes individually i don't like but when i combined these two palettes and i created this look i quite actually like this look which uh, came out of this probably i would say this one is a little bit better than this one for everyday use you can pull up something these both these palettes have these uh, instructions these uh, work as like quads and trios and duos so you can actually follow these these instructions are pretty good and you can come up with some look if you want something just subtle on your eyes this is a good like uh, go to palette uh, the pigmentation is quite okay uh, this one the colors are really nice i just wish that the consistency was better in this palette but i really look like the colors of this one much better than the colors of this one but the, both the palettes individually uh, i wouldn't really recommend uh, any of the palettes probably if i had to recommend if i had to recommend i will recommend this one so those palettes were a little bit of a disappointment that the, uh, but the other eye products are pretty okay i love this kajal which i have this is the maybelline colossal kajal this is like my go to kajal i wear this all the time this is really smooth it's very very black and very pigmented it goes on to the waterline really nicely nice it's very soft but not too soft and it gets the it gets the job done basically so i love this kajal and the other thing which i really love from the maybelline is this one this is the hyper sharp wing uh, eyeliner this is amazing i have this as my eyeliner today also so this one is basically an eyeliner but the tip is amazing i will show you one more time i think i have shown this before so this tip is like this it has like a pointy tip but it is flat so it's a flat pointy tip it makes the job of applying a wing eyeliner or a normal eyeliner really really easy the formulation is really good it's very black it stays on the eyelids for a really long time it doesn't smudge it doesn't budge this is an amazing eyeliner and you can you can actually use the tip to do a nice wing then one more thing which i have is uh, this hyper glossy liquid eyeliner and this is in the shade brown which i have this is the shade this is also like a glossy brown it doesn't smudge it very it's very easy it has a brush inside it has a very tiny precise brush so if you want to do a thick line you can do and if you want to do a thin line you can do that so really like this one and the one which i forgot about this is the maybelline impact express smooth felt tip liner and this is one of my go to as well 
this is also very good it has a tip like this it is a felt tip and it is very very good if i want to do a like a bolder eye line and it's very quick it's very fuss free just you just have to pull it and i don't know it just gets the job done it is not completely matte but it is a nice semi matte kind of a black there's not a not a lot of gloss i really like it and i use this all the time to do like a quick a bold eye line i use this all the time then i have two mascaras uh, let me first tell you the good one this one is the lash a sensational mascara which i really love the not the waterproof one i don't like really like this one uh this one is just okay i like the normal version better it is really really like lengthening and it separates out the lashes lashes it has a nice fan effect i really love that one it is one of my favorites and this is the waterproof version this is also actually very good if you're looking for a good waterproof mascara you should try this one uh this one is also uh like very lengthening separates out the lashes and gives a nice fan effect so i do like this one as well the only thing is that if it's a waterproof mascara so it's really difficult to take off that's why i don't like waterproof mascaras i have one more mascara which i think this is the fourth time i'm mentioning i promise you that this is going to be the last time i mention this this is the maybelline the falsies a push up drama mascara if you have seen any of my previous videos you know that i do not really like this mascara it just way too clumpy for me it's that kind of volumization is not flattering like if you apply uh, two or more coats it it will give you just four or five lashes like it just clumps up way too much not one of my favorites this is also waterproof very 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 difficult to take off as well so both of the mascaras are very difficult to take off but if you're looking for a good waterproof mascara i would highly recommend this one this one is good this one is not so much next i have a brow product from maybelline uh, this one is called fashion brow ultra fluffy so this is like the anastasia beverly hills brow definer it has a slant to it and this is how the i brow product looks like and i have the shade uh, brown the darkest brown they have the shade is pretty okay i don't have a problem with the shade i would have preferred it to be a little more darker for my Uh, eyebrow hairs but it's okay i can work with it the only problem is that this doesn't come with a spoolie like this is the product that's it there is no spoolie at the other end so that's not very convenient for me i do i have to pull out another uh, spoolie or a brush to you know brush my eyebrow hairs so it would have been nice if it if it came with a spoolie also the formula is a little bit too slippery for me i would have liked this a little more stiffer i think a little too soft for me so i will use it up but this is not one of my favorite uh, brow products from maybelline okay next the face products i have just one face product from maybelline this which is their master highlight by face studio and i have in the shade coral and this is a highlighting blush this is how it looks it's a very very pretty shade corally shade and you can use as a blush and i usually use it as a blush if i just need a some uh, color but it has also got uh, like highlighting strips in between so you have to uh, avoid the highlighting strips if you just want the color if you want a very nice like glowy blush with a sheen then you can swirl your brush around and then get it on i love the consistency of the blush it's not overly pigmented it's a very nice soft formula and i do really like the color and that's the one maybelline face product which i have and i do really like it okay so next we are moving on to the good products from maybelline which is their lip products their lip products are awesome so the first product which i'll mention is the one which i'm wearing on my lips this is their a maybelline lip gradation lip lipsticks like a lip crayon and this is the shade mauve 1 which i'm wearing it's a very pretty mlbb shade then i have two more shades one is uh, orange one one is pink 2 so these are the other two shades which i have pink 2 and orange 1 i really love pink 2 it's such a nice bright pink shade i wear it uh, many times these lip crayons i really really like they are matte lip crayons but they are not drying they are very comfortable but you do have to exfoliate your lips properly because they will just cling to whatever dry patches you have on your lips uh, other than that they are very good they will feel a little bit drying uh, after maybe 2 or 3 hours 
but uh, they are not very long wearing they are not transfer proof they come off easily uh, they will transfer everywhere but i love the formula and i love that they are a good uh, easy to use like a quick everyday kind of a lipstick plus they are matte so that's why i like them uh, the packaging is really nice they have a sponge tip at the back if you want to do that gradient lip look so yeah those are the lip crayons which i have then i have uh, two which lipstick are this color sensational lipsticks so one is a red revival this is a red revival the other one is called summer sunset which actually is pretty old i should probably declutter this i just like the shade so i just keep it uh, these color sensational lipsticks are really really comfortable super blip pigmented one swipe you are good to go and uh, they last really really long uh, on your lips so i do really like the color sensational ones and the other two lipsticks which i have are their rebel bouquet lipsticks this is how they look and i have two shades a uh, rebel 10 which is like a pink i don't know if this is available in uh, india so these are more glossy than the color sensational ones they have a nice high shine to them that's why I got them because I did not have anything like this and this one is Rebel 9 both are pretty much the same uh, but uh, it was one for one one is a little bit lighter and the other one is deeper so I like the deeper one better Rebel 9 and I have one more lipstick from their creamy matte range I think this is my favorite lipsticks out of all this is the shade a touch of spice uh, 660 touch of spice it's a nice nude shade and i have already spoken about this in a previous video i will link that down uh, or somewhere in the cards you can check out the swatches and the application you can see how it looks on my lips these are really nice like the best uh, drugstore matte lipstick formulas in my opinion because they are so creamy and soft and pigmented and comfortable they are just superb you should definitely try these uh creamy matte lipsticks from maybelline so yeah those were all the products i have all the maybelline products i have if you have any questions on any of the products then do let me know i will be happy to answer them for you and yeah if you have tried any other maybelline products which you think are amazing then do let me know in the comment section below i would really love to try i love maybelline brand there are some hits some misses some good ones some bad ones but as a whole brand i think they are really good so yeah thank you so much for watching today i hope that this video was helpful to you if you uh, found this video helpful please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're watching me for the first time then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it will really mean a lot to me and yeah thank you so much for watching today uh, and thank you so much for your love and support i will see you guys in my next video bye